Dear compatriots and friends, I am honored and delighted to be invited to contribute a statement to the Wednesday Forum and participate in the celebration of the life of President Fidel Valdez Ramos. I am aware of the many virtues and achievements of the late FBR, but I wish to focus on his outstanding and fruitful role as peace advocate, even as he was the principal on the side of the government of the Republic of the Philippines in the peace negotiations with the National Democratic Front of the Philippines from 1992 to 1998. He continued to call for a just and durable peace after his presidency. Of all presidents of the GRP who have engaged in peace negotiations with the NDFP, FBR has been the most committed, diligent, resourceful, and successful. It was during his watch as GRP president that so far the most important and the biggest total number of joint agreements were made by the GRP and NDFP. These agreements are of lasting value. Peace negotiations can be resumed only by affirming them as in 2001 after Estrada terminated them in 1999 as Duterte would do again in 2017. The agreements are as follows. Number one, the Hague Joint uh, Agreement of September 1, 1992 is a framework agreement for the peace negotiations and sets forth a the objective of addressing the roots of the armed conflict to achieve a just and lasting peace. B. Mutually acceptable guiding principles of national sovereignty, democracy and social justice as a guide. C. Substantive agenda, respect for human rights and international humanitarian law, social and economic reforms, political and constitutional reforms, and the end of hostilities and disposition of forces, and D, reciprocal working committees as a drafting staff of the negotiating panels. Number two, joint agreement on safety and immunity guarantees, signed on February 24, 1995, and two additional implementing rules, signed on June 26, 1996, and March 16, 1998. Number three, agreement on the ground rules of the formal meetings between the GRP and NDFP negotiating panels, signed on February 26, 1995. Number four, joint agreement on the formation, sequence, and operationalization of the reciprocal working committees of the GRP and NDFP negotiating panels signed on June 26, 1995, and supplemental agreement signed on March 18, 1997. Number five, comprehensive agreement on respect for human rights and international humanitarian law signed on March 16, 1998. This is the first of the four items in the substantive agenda of the GRP and DFP peace negotiations. And number six, joint agreement in support of socioeconomic projects of private development organizations and institutes, signed on March 16, 1998. To set the stage for the peace negotiations, FBR sent Representative Oseyam and now Speaker Jose de Venecia as special emissaries to the NDFP office in Utrecht for exploratory talks. They assured the NDFP that President Ramos would do everything he could to move the peace negotiations forward to a successful conclusion. Then, to our pleasant surprise, he took the initiative to repeal the anti-subversion law and release all political prisoners. I noticed that it took special care to develop rapport with the NDFP side. In the course of the peace negotiations, I was able to talk to FBR by phone a number of times 
successes when there was a need to release an NDIP consultant from detention when he informed me that my doctor brother Ramon was around when he, FBR, was being treated for a carotid problem at the Makati Medical Center and when he, we congratulated each other for the success of the negotiating panels in forging the comprehensive agreement on respect for human rights and international humanitarian law. He sent to the NDLP emissaries like Education Under Secretary Fred Clemente, in addition to Representative Yap and Speaker de Venezia, in order to iron out links promptly and facilitate the formal talks. He sent personal letters to me through Ambassador Romeo Arguelles to express condolences on the death of my mother and my sister, as well as book gifts through the GRP negotiating panel chairman Howard D. and official letters through Fred Clemente expressing views on certain issues or appreciation for the release of military and police officers captured and detained by the New People's Army. FBR was hands-on in the peace negotiations during his presidency. The chairman of the GRP negotiating panel was directly in touch with him and he did not hesitate to receive Luis Sanandoni, chairman of the NDAP negotiating panel, at the presidential palace. He showed so much sincerity and willingness to work for a just and lasting peace. It is therefore not a surprise that so far he is the GRP president with the most success in peace negotiations with the, G with the NDAP. The succeeding GRP presidents failed to keep the momentum that was established during this time. The worst was Duterte who trashed all the joint agreements. But the brilliant example of FBR should inspire us to work harder for the resumption of the peace negotiations and aim firmly for a just and lasting peace by addressing the roots of the armed conflict with basic social, economic and political reforms that will allow the Filipino people to enjoy full national independence, democracy, social justice, economic development through genuine land reform and national internationalization, a patriotic, scientific and democratic culture, and international solidarity of all peoples for peace and development. Thank you.